Welcome back to Golf Simulator Videos. Today we are here to do kind of our final review of the SkyTrack Golf Launch Monitor. We've had this for a little over a week now. Uh, never played on the SkyTrack before. Uh, it's a photometric based launch monitor and you know we've put it up against a bunch of other uh, hardware and played on some different software and uh, really just wanted to give you guys kind of a final you know demonstration uh, we're actually going to use creative golf 3d which you guys have not seen yet uh, hooked up to the SkyTrack, and just wanted to give you guys a, a final demonstration without anything else in the way you know we're not using a different ball we're actually going to use the uh, titleist pro v so I've got it right here. You can actually see that title is Pro V1 and I'm going to face the logo towards the ball like they recommend or face the logo of the ball towards the sky track. There we go. So, um, you know, we were using the marked balls before and, you know, I believe that they were helping because it's looking for movement, but we just don't want to have those variables and you guys never got to see anything else. So why wouldn't we hit some putts, a few chips, and maybe a, a few shots out on the range. And so you guys can get an idea of the SkyTrack performing by itself. You know, no comparison, no weird, uh, you know, different balls than it may be used to, um, and kind of give you guys a good idea. So let's go ahead. I have a 24 foot flat putt set up. I'm going to face that logo towards the SkyTrack, and let's see what we can do here. Oh, there it goes. I'm always <laughs> so it's funny. I was looking to see if it wasn't working there for a second. I uh, I'm always hesitant. I'm not used to the little delay that the SkyTrack has, and I guess that's kind of a subject we can talk about just for a second. I mean, coming from the other systems that I've played on for a while, I'm just not used to the delay. Some people actually say they like it. I've talked to people online that say, "Hey, listen, I don't have a projector. I hit into a net, and so I like hitting." And then having a second to look back and then watch the ball fly. So, um, you know, there, there can be two different sides to that. Uh, but yes, there is a delay and you're able to see it right now in this demonstration. Hopefully I got that one a little more online. Yep, I'm getting them there. That was a, see where that ball was here. I kind of still pushed that a little bit, so maybe that was my fault. Let's see if I can hit this a little farther left. You know, I've really done the best job I, I it's possible, I guess, um, best job I can do, um, leveling the unit, aligning the unit each time. I know exactly how what is square to my screen. I have a level to level the unit. Um, you know, and I, you know, some of the comments I've seen, some people have had, you know, some misreads and different things. And, uh, you know, based on what I'm seeing so far, I haven't had much of those, you know, big, you know, large misreads or total misreads. That's just my experience. I bet you I didn't hit that hard enough. Oh, and I hit it too far left. Um, so I'm interested to, to hear what people have to say there. Um, is it my environment? Is it because I'm taking so much time to set it up? Uh, Oh, and look at this. Would you like to play more shots? <laughs> we don't have the full version of, of Creative Golf. So um, let's see if we can go out to the range now and hit some balls. We can do some chipping and stuff out there. So let's go to practice. Let's go to drive. Let's see if it'll let us chip. Let's, let's do some chipping really quick. Um, what would be if I selected this? Because I'm thinking short chips are the most challenging. Um, so what is this and this, that one's not bad, 24 yards, like 60, we can do the shorter one here. Let's see if it'll let me, there we go, it'll let me do a couple shots. All right, so I'm going to grab my 58, we're going to do the same thing. We have an 18 yard chip, a foot downhill, we're going to face the logo towards the sky track. For all of my shots so far, I've been I've been placing the ball right on the laser dot. Um, I did a bunch of research and listened to feedback from people, and they said for driver, put it just behind the dot. So I, I almost lined the front of the ball up 
with the dot, you know, with my, my Bertie. Um, so be interested to hear what everybody has to say about that. All right, let's practice here because we're only going to get three shots. So about 60 feet. Land and roll out. Not bad. You know, and we're demonstrating the SkyTrack unit today, but we're also demonstrating Creative Golf 3D. And just so you guys understand, if you haven't seen Creative Golf 3D, you really need to check it out. I mean, they allow for a demo, obviously. Um, I have the full version for several other pieces of hardware. And uh, I work with the team over there. And we work on enhancements and making sure that, you know, I try to find any bugs for them and things like that. And, I mean, they're just a great team to work with. And they really have impressive software. Um, so if you haven't checked it out yet, um, I definitely encourage it. Um, and if you're interested in purchasing it, um, shoot me an email and I'll give you some information. It's at the top of the comments below. I'll pin it to the top. But, uh, yeah, they, they have a lot of things in the works. You know, that wasn't a bad chip. Three and a half feet to the pin. I mean, for me, I'll take that. And just so you guys understand, look in the upper left. Ball speed, launch angle, backspin, shot distance. It carried 11 and a half. It went 17 total. I deflected that five, uh, five inches left, it says. That might be a little too hard now, depending on what that rollout. Get up there. Oh, it wasn't bad. I was worried I got a little more. So that was that was right in line. Right in line. All right, so those were kind of just like your little chips. Let's see if we can demonstrate kind of like a flop shot. I wonder if it'll let us just move really quick so I can get a little more of like a green flop shot for you guys. Player hole in position. Let's go to this one. That's 28 yards. There we go. Let's say we had to get up and over something and we wanted to kind of lift the ball up. Let's see how the Skytrack does with that. Oh, I hit it off the toe, though. Will it read it all right? <laughs> well, I don't think so because that sucker was to the right. <laughs> I need to uh, get myself in check there. I opened my face up, I opened my stance up, and that thing was off the toe. So let's let's get this a little more lined up here. There we go. I got that thing way up. Look at that come down. Oh, ho, ho. right by the pin. From a toe shot to only three feet from the pin. And I feel like Skytrack did a pretty good job of uh, launch angle 39 degrees. I feel like it did a pretty good job of reading that. You guys tell me. I'm, you know, I've, I've, This subject's been coming up a lot. People um, asking for like specific data parameters and um, you know, some really intense you know, comparisons and stuff. And generally, I don't have time for that here in the studio. I mean, I, I, I stick the demonstrations. I want to show people the hardware. I want to show people the software. Um, do the different things so you guys get to see more and more, um, you know, and there are some data people out there that will give you spreadsheets and comparisons, um, you know, and maybe we'll get to that someday. I, I don't know, but um, currently the channel's focus is really on just quality content demonstrations of hardware and software. And honestly, um, I don't get to a lot of viewer request videos right now. So, um, you know, we're really going to try to stick to that. All right. So there was some great shipping demonstration. So it's very early here in Michigan. Let's hope that I can actually swing a golf club and I'll go out to the range, driving range. We'll set up 125 yards for a pitching wedge. There we go. This is another part of Creative, D, uh, Creative Golf 3D that I really enjoy is uh, the range. Um, just the data and different views and everything it gives you. All right. Yeah. 
started a little to the right. Coming back, isn't that a normal ball flight for me? That's for sure. Nice. Man, for the first full swing of the day, I'll take that. 121 yards. All right. So let's maybe try to hit a more of a middle iron. So if we go to menu, we go to driving range setup, and then we pick maybe 175 yards, and I'll try to hit like a 7 iron. Oh man, pretty stiff to hit a 7 iron. Don't expect this to get there, guys. Fair warning. Fair warning. That ball started right, that's for sure. Oh boy. Hey. I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> Honestly, 170 yard total distance. I've been trying to work on, you know, I've been too inside out and too closed with my face. And so I've got some of that adjusted with the face. And sometimes I end up with those pushes. Um, but, you know, honestly, uh, I'm, I'm a little happier that I'm, you know, at least starting to fine tune my swing. It's so funny how I had a swing that I liked and, uh, you know, wanted to stick with. And it just all changed on me. I mean, it was just wild. Just wild. Oh, let's see here. Let's go to exit without saving. Oh, I guess I went all the way out, whatever. And then let's go. I mean, I have to hit driver, right, guys? Everybody wants to see driver. Oh, what a disaster. I could be really getting myself into trouble here. You know what? If it's a giant miss, it's a giant miss. We're doing it for the channel. All right, facing the logo towards the unit. I, I faced it just a little, you know, uh, towards the unit that time because, uh, you know, I'm putting a little bit behind the laser. Well, at least it's starting right <laughs> and not, oh no, do we have a misread? I think we have a misread. And you know, I haven't hit enough drives on the SkyTrack to know uh, how often you can get a misread on a driver. I hit that a little out here, it felt like, all right. Um, and the ball hit here on my screen, uh, and it looks like it didn't pick it up. But it's ready now. Let's see what we can do. That was low, but going a little right. Not the best drive in the world for me, but you know what? Gives us a driver example. There's your data. Spin was 3193. I, I mean, it, it's so funny when I see my driver going right, I actually am a little happy <laughs> just because uh, I was, you know, hitting them left so much, uh, that making these adjustments and I'm doing it, you know, kind of on video here and, uh, you know, obviously amateur status, not knowing exactly if my adjustments are correct or not, but I'm, I'm really happy with what my swing co coaches showed me here. We're kind of reeling things back in, I think. That was a high ball. Definitely not great distance again. All right. So I hit one right. I hit one left. We just joined the army. Let's see if we can actually reel a drive in here. 
Look at the launch angle on that sucker. Woo! <laughs> that was super low. Oh, man. Can't hit a drive for you guys. One more. One more. Hey, when it's this early in the morning and you haven't swung a driver yet, I kind of give myself the excuse. But that's pretty bad. <laughs> Let's clear the shots. Delete all shots. There we go. And let's see if I can... Uh... It's so funny because yesterday I was working on it just a little bit. Only hit a few. Um, but man, it was much better. Much better. Today I can't quite say that. I mean, that I think hit a little low again, but it was a better drive. Look at that. Not bad. Total distance of 269. I stuck with it. Carried it 246. Still not amazing, but you know what? I'll take it. Launch angle 12 degrees. Backspin of 2493. Um, I mean, for me, making all those adjustments, I'll, I'll take that. I mean, my driver's been a mess. You know, you could see how I started off and I felt like it was, you know, open. And then I hit one to the left. That pop-up one, I think, was just a bad swing. Trying to do too much. Um, not focusing. And then uh, got things in check there. And that, that's not that's not bad for me. I'll take that. Ball speed of 149. Carry of 246. You guys will have to do the whole ball flight model and everything and tell me if, if you like that. Um, I usually don't take the time to do all that. People have been doing it. I think it's great. Comment below. Let me know what you think. You know, And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel, please do. We, uh, we have the IXO that should be showing up here in the next few days uh, from Unicor. So I think everybody's excited to see that. We'll make sure to do uh, demonstrations immediately and you guys can let me know what you want to see and we'll keep that going. So for today, this has been our final review of the SkyTrack golf launch monitor and we're going to send this unit back maybe we'll get one permanently here for the gsv studio you guys let me know if you think that it's something that we should have in here uh you know permanently so we can do some comparisons and demonstrations maybe we will do that um it just depends on really what viewers want to see you know if that's uh something that you know is, adds value to the viewers and uh, can provide good content i'll see what i can pull off all right so uh that does it for today i appreciate you guys watching and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.